Hey guys, and welcome to today's reading. And I'm gonna be doing another collective reading. I feel like it's gonna be a follow-up from the last collective reading that I just did here. Um, so we'll see if any other missing details wanna come out, okay? So let's see here, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit, our guides, our angels, our ancestors that watch over us and protect us on our path. What is the message here? What is the message here that we need to clarify and uh, expand on a little bit? What is the missing link here in this story? Judgment. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, we have Judgment, we have the Four of Wands, and we have Justice. Okay, that's big, okay? So there is some judgment coming down. There is some karmic justice coming in. Um, nice, I like it, okay? So you could be receiving karmic justice soon, okay? Or judgment is being ruled in your favor in some sort of way. Let's see here, why is judgment here? Holy angels, why is judgment here? Hank man, the tower. The page of wands and then knight of swords in reverse and the wheel of fortune at the bottom. See, that's so interesting because in this, the reading that I just did before this one, I was getting strongly that there was some sort of documentation that might have been um, fraudulent or somebody didn't fill out some sort of forms correctly, okay? Or this is just a message with gossip and slander, lies, right? Some sort of communication, some sort of a message that was um, not correct, right? Now, someone here is having a moment of enlightenment. Somebody is seeing something in a different perspective. This is shocking. Something is shocking to someone. Maybe there's somebody here that's going over some sort of paperwork, okay? Um, and they're seeing something and it's shocking them. Maybe they're seeing in some sort of a message or some sort of paperwork or I don't know what the page of wands is, um, that something was a lie or something was fraudulent, okay? Now somebody could be um, under judgment for this. What's the four of wands? Nine of cups, three of cups. And the lovers. So this could have something to do with a friends group, um, some sort of a collaboration, people working together. Something in a home or something about a home or something about a contract maybe even. What's justice? Two of wands, a choice that somebody made to move forward on something. Two of swords, two, two or to obstruct justice. Someone tried to obstruct, that's the ace of swords. Someone tried to obstruct justice, okay? And now it's going from the two to the one, which means that where there was confusion or some sort of obstruction or somebody wasn't seeing something clearly, now there's clarity coming in. Some sort of truth is coming in, okay? About maybe what somebody was planning here or a step that somebody took, like the sun, like it was raining this morning, okay? It was cloudy this morning, all of a sudden the sun is coming in, there's a pigeon flying around outside, he's like doing like loopies and stuff. I mean, I don't know, it has something to do with a large amount of money, man. Having some sort of a revelation about what? About an injustice, justice in reverse, about something that was illegal. Something that was illegal, unjust, unfair, it was corrupt. Something to do with money. It has something to do with money, man. It has something to do with um, an investment, a gift, um, a money offer, a money bribe, financial news. Um, something to do with finances, definitely. And an Ace of Cups in reverse. So something that could have been heartless. Something that was very cold and without emotion. Something that was heartless. 
No love, okay? Ace of Cups is actual, acts like absolutely a void of any kind of emotions or feelings. Tell me more about what exactly this person is now seeing about money. He's seeing something about a death. He's having a moment of enlightenment about some sort of an ending or um, a transformation or a death. Or that, or money for a death, or or trying to call nine of pentacles in reverse, or trying to end someone's career. Somebody might have tried to end your career. Somebody was trying to end your stability, or um, make sure that you can't be financially stable in some sort of way. So how how is this uh, emperor here having this realization or this revelation? How is that coming in? with a knight of pentacles because of some sort of financial strategy or somebody that's very practical and logical or someone that's looking at something. This could be even maybe someone that's looking at money or looking at finances or uh, looking at something that someone held back. Tower, this is what's causing a shocking moment is Maybe someone is looking through some sort of financial statements or financial documents and seeing that something was held back or that somebody um, didn't release some sort of information or somebody was trying to hold on to some sort of money or something like that. Tell me more about this. Yeah, this is whatever this is. This is what's bringing in the moment of enlightenment. Someone's having a, some sort of a, a realization. Somebody could even be realizing that you were made as some sort of a sacrifice because you decided to walk away, okay? So um, this person, this Amber, could be seeing that they, someone else tried to make you the fall guy or make you the scapegoat or the sacrifice because you decided to turn your back on someone and walk away from them. Yeah, the, high, yeah, the king, king of pentacles is coming out and the hierophant. Or, the, or they're having some sort of a, um, a moment of enlightenment about a king of pentacles or someone's stability or someone that's very grounded or someone that has a business or um, this could be the courts or this could be something from court, a court document with a king of pentacles or um, a marriage. So this person is now having a moment of enlightenment about something to do with court or judgment or finances. <clears throat> Tell me more about this hierophant here. Poverty. And a main female in reverse. So they're seeing something about how someone who's not the main female, um, what, w felt like they were going into poverty or they were in lack or something like that, or they or they wanted to make you look like you're not the main female because of poverty, or you being in some sort of lack, because somebody walked away. Saying something about someone walking away. Walking away from something here. Yeah, look at this. King of Wands Emperor. Um, what is this Eight of Cups? A wealthy man. Because you walked away from a wealthy man. Maybe that's this King of Pentacles. So you walked away from a wealthy man. Who could be the King of Pentacles. And then they wanted to put you in poverty despair they wanted you in despair and in poverty or this wealthy man is now in despair and poverty i'm not sure man okay hold on um wait let me t uh, tell me more about this um hang man please
concern in reverse. You're not concerned about something or someone's not concerned about something. What's death? A mature man. So there's a moment of enlightenment coming in because somebody is, or maybe that's this emperor or this king of pentacles, I don't know. Somebody is seeing that someone wanted to destroy your career or put you in lack or in poverty. It could be a mature man that did this to you or it could be a mature man that's seeing this, okay? Because you walked away. When you walked away, somebody wanted to block your path. When you walked away, someone wanted to block your path. Tell me more about walking away here, Eight of Cups. You walked away to have to become a phoenix okay to go through some sort of a transformation you walked away and you grew from this you renewed yourself you renewed something when you walked away from a wealthy man and you became the phoenix rising after doing some serious introspection and realizing that a relationship was reflecting a wound inside of you so you could have had a relationship here with someone platonic romantic doesn't matter but you might have realized that being around someone was only re reflecting back a wound at you and so you decided to walk away and become the phoenix rising and transform from this situation now why is the hierophant here addiction codependent obsess uh, obsession possession controlling has a block restraint Someone could have told the courts that because of your despair, you had, um, you went into some sort of low vibrational energy of being obsessed, possessive, controlling, and maybe even um, having addictions. Girl with the snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used because you felt used. Because, because you felt like someone was using you or because you felt charmed by someone. So they said, okay, so hold on. They told the courts or they told this emperor or someone that when someone walked away from you, you were in despair and you went into some sort of codependent obsession, maybe even with addictions. Yes, devil. Okay, that's what they said. That's what they said. So they said that you're someone that has addictions because you were left in poverty and because someone walked away from you and because you were in so much despair. That's what they said about you. But why would they say something like this? Because of money. Because of money that they got for death. Oh, how interesting. Right, right, right. Because this is what they had to say to cover up the fact that they had been paid to um, take someone out here using substances, right? So in, to cover up the fact that they were going to take someone out with substances, they did um, like the fore planning, which was going to the courts and coming up with a whole story about how someone has serious addictions because they got left behind and they are in despair and heartbroken, which put them into some sort of addictions um, through heartbreak, right? So they try to say someone is so heartbroken and in despair over a breakup or being left behind that they are fully on some sort of drugs. And this was then to cover up the fact that they were trying to, you know, take someone out with drugs at the end of the day. It was them coming up with the storyline before getting close enough to you to do something to you. So like I, like I keep saying, it's like, so when you end up dead, Everybody's like, oh, that makes sense. It's because she was in so, or he was in so much despair over a breakup. So that's why they did this to themselves because they're in so much heartbreak and pain, right? Yeah, the, this queen of pentacles. That's what a queen of pentacles said about you. Wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. <clears throat> that's what a queen of pentacles said. Okay. So a queen of pentacles was telling the judge or telling the courts or telling other people that someone here has a lot of addictions and someone um, is 
very toxic and low vibrational because they are in despair over a breakup or being left behind by someone here, okay? And it was because this one here, this Queen of Pentacles, had actually probably most likely received money to put substances in someone's drink, okay? Or in their food or something like that. So this one was part of this plan here um, to try and OD someone. So that's why they opened their mouth here in court and tried to make someone look like they have addictions, right? Okay, it's starting to come full circle here. I'm starting to get the whole picture, okay? So tell me about this mature man down here um, and death. The snake in reverse. So there's a mature man here that sees that someone is not malicious or didn't want someone to be competition or why is that in reverse? Coffin at the bottom. Who is this mature man? imprisonment, adjudication. So this mature man is somebody that wanted you either dead or in jail, okay? This is somebody that could have tried to end your career. They could have tried to put you in poverty on purpose. They were trying to put you in a state of depression on purpose. This mature man was, okay? So tell me more about who this mature man is, please. Photographs with some sort of photographs. They were trying to end your career or say that you're someone that's unstable and not able to take care of yourself because they wanted you put in prison. Using photographs. Tell me more about these photographs, please. Yeah, this, whatever this is, these lying ass, deceptive ass photographs. Could be photos, could be screenshots, could be made up uh, text messages, okay? Who knows, whatever it is, it's a lie. Oh, wait a minute. Is, are, are you telling me what, you're, what I think you're telling me? It's messages, it's messages. It's a bunch of people that work together. They collaborated on this. They collaborated on this all together. They came up with this. It's a whole group of like-minded, toxic, demonic people who all came together to create some sort of messages that were backstabbing, deceptive, lying, and criminal. Um, because they were trying to use these me messages or these screenshots or this documentation or this evidence, whatever this is, because they were trying to put someone in prison. They were trying to imprison someone or get someone stuck. Because what at the end of the day, what they were trying to cover up is the fact that all of them had a hand in trying to poison someone or overdose someone using substances. And they needed a way to cover up what they had done. And they probably needed a way of um, silencing the victim, right? So that nobody would believe the victim. Tell me more about this. Wait a minute. Tell me more about this photograph. Sudden wealth in reverse. message about you being in bad health so they could have because that's what I was wondering right a message a message that was um lot a lie okay a message that was a lie this could even be like a, a um a fabricated document or something that was like uh manipulated like manipulated messages or um something that was maybe forged or something that was altered like an altered document right I was wondering is this an altered document because you have photographs or this could be a piece of paper or something like that, okay? 
a message about someone being in bad health. Did someone here turn, try and turn in an altered document or a fake document that, you know, like a drug test or something like that? Like an altered, faked drug test claiming that someone is on drugs when they're not? Because that's kind of what I'm getting off of this, right? An altered document. And then I was, I'm asking, like, is this really what it is? And it comes out bad health and message. So did they alter a document? Did they alter a document here um, to make it look like someone is on drugs when they're not? Did you see how that fucking hit me in the face, man? Ace of Wands in reverse. Whatever it was, it was to cause a painful ending to someone here and to betray them, okay? So either it's messages, okay? It's fabricated messages. It's some sort of fabricated documentation. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm pretty sure of that. Either it's fabricated messages or fabricated documents or fraud, lying on documents, lying on uh, testimonies, lying about pictures, lying about something here. It's definitely lies, okay? With the Seven of Swords, it's criminal. It's either altered, it's fabricated, it's forged, it's whatever. This is what they did, and they worked together to do this here to try and make someone look like they're addicted to substances so that, um, you know, they can get rid of someone and nobody even, uh, nobody even bats an eyelash, right? Yeah, they wanted to burden someone with this. They were trying to burden someone with this, and so they used someone's pain somebody's they claim that someone is in so much despair and going through so much suffering and pain and heartbreak that they turn to drugs they're depressed they're on drugs they're um you know crazy and obsessed codependent uh, don't have their life together okay someone's just a wreck okay they're like going down in a spiral okay can't be saved kind of a thing right that's what they said about someone Again, with this Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles. What is this? These two keep coming out together, even in your last reading. It's somebody coming towards someone with a love offer or a love gesture or messages or someone being nice and caring and loving or something like that. Someone being very, I don't know, what is this? What is this? This Knight of Cups, Page of Cups here. Someone, yeah. Exactly. It says heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. That's what they said about you. That's what they said about someone in the collective. That you are heartbroken, you are grieving, you are feeling lost because of a breakup and a separation. Because you um, are losing yourself in this pain and you're going down the entire rabbit hole. Okay, And this is something that they said in messages. Or th these are the messages that they created here. Yeah, I can't even make it up. I can't. It says breakup separation on this card again. Messages about breakup and a separation about feeling abandoned so they created you're telling me they created fake messages here about or they created some sort of messages here about someone feeling heartbroken in despair mourning grieving because somebody doesn't want to date them anymore meeting someone new dating get back out their plans at a date in reverse okay love call something on a phone it's something on a phone it's about a separation so th th these are phone these are text messages these are text messages about a breakup about someone feeling sad and depressed and someone doesn't want to be with me anymore okay and way way like um this is what they used against someone here or it's what it's either what they used against you or okay a gift this is what they gave um the authorities or the judge it has something to do with um you yeah it had i can tell you what this is yeah it's about them saying that you were so heartbroken and depressed and sad that you know like i said you have substance abuse issues you have substance abuse issues that's what this is
Hermit and the Knight of Wands. What? Ew. Tell me. Knight of Wands and the Four of Swords. This is about a one night stand. So they not only claim that you were so heartbroken that you turned to drugs, they also said that you were so heartbroken that you decided to what? Have a one night stand with someone here? The magician, yeah, this is what they created here. This is this is the storyline that they created, right? If the King of Cups comes out again, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the cards all over the fucking table, man. Five of Swords. Yeah, they said that you um, felt rejected. What? They claimed that because you felt rejected by someone, you planned uh, you planned revenge. You planned revenge. You wanted to get back at someone here, devil. It made you go like dark side? Okay, wait a minute. So they're claiming that because you felt rejected, you were heartbroken, um, they were claiming you're like depressed and feeling lost and grieving and hurt and sad because you felt rejected. You plan some sort of revenge? Yeah, five of wands, you wanted to fight. Mm-hmm, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, this is, um, this is, again, you know, for any of you guys who haven't seen the reading where it was about, you know, people using your betrayal against you um, or your suffering against you. So someone that was suffering here, someone who was going through a really dark time in their life because they were heartbroken and they were in despair and feeling a lot of pain. Um, you know, this is the kind of heartbreak, though, that someone was going through here where, like I said, you don't eat, you don't sleep, you don't do anything but lay around and cry. Um, you feel empty. You feel Yes, you might feel lost, but you, you know, your, your heart feels like it's weighing 20 pounds, okay? Um, you know, you're just getting through the day. I mean, in this kind of energy, you probably don't even listen to music because every song makes you cry, okay? Um, you're just literally trying to get through the day just to lay in bed again at night and think about things and then, you know, cry. So in this kind of an energy that someone was in, like one of the darkest, most painful times in someone's life, they claimed that someone felt rejected and wanted to fight and plan revenge. Look, someone in this energy wasn't, was, was um, barely like able to you know, do their dishes and get their laundry in order, okay? You think that someone has the energy or the rage to fight? There's no rage in heartbreak. There is no um, anger or resentment or wanting to get revenge or get back at someone. It, someone was not in that energy. Somebody was in the energy of like, you know, I'm going to try and maybe, you know, I need to cook something healthy for myself tonight because... All I'm doing is, um, I can't, because I can't eat. Like you haven't eaten all day long. You need to eat something. You know, you need to, you need to, you need to check your emails. You need to answer your emails. Someone in this energy is not going to go around trying to get back at someone and fight someone. That, these people were making up storylines that don't even fit with natural human emotions, okay? So if they were trying to slander someone and make someone look really bad, um, they should have, you know, see, that's a problem. These kind of people don't have human emotions, okay? They don't know what it's like to um, feel that amount of pain because they don't know what love is. They don't know what it's like to, you know, um, feel deeply. They don't have empathy. They don't have um, any kind of remorse. They don't have this kind of sadness or guilt or the deep feelings, okay, of pain. These are the kind of people that don't have feelings like that. So how are they going to create a storyline um, about someone that feels deeply and someone that has a lot of empathy and someone that feels a lot and someone that, um, you know, 
when they feel sadness, they feel sadness very deeply, okay? So how are they gonna create a storyline when they don't even know who someone is, obviously? Because they're trying to say that someone wanted to fight, someone wanted to get revenge because they felt rejected. That's not, um, that doesn't match up with the pain that someone was going through, okay? So I don't know. You know, the thing is though, these people might be that way. That's maybe why they came up with all these fake messages and this fake storyline and um, thought they knew it better and they thought they knew who you are and um, could judge you and speak on you or, or who you are and how you react. Because if these people were to get slighted or if they were to feel rejected or if somebody were to walk away from them, they are the kind of people that seek revenge. They are the kind of people that want to fight you. They are the kind of people that go to a judge or to the police or work together in a whole group trying to slander one person, trying to get revenge because you don't want to have anything to do with them, trying to cause conflict in your life because you walked away from them. What they are describing about someone else is exactly how they are, is exactly what they did. You walked away from this entire group you walked away from everybody in this group. You closed the doors, you blocked them, you didn't want to have anything to do with them. You know, you dealt with your own issues, okay? You walked away from them. And what did they do? After trying to stab you in the back, they wanted to get revenge. They wanted to cause conflict. They wanted to get you in legal troubles. They wanted to take you out. What kind of a people are these people? These are the kind of people that seek revenge, okay? These are the kind of people that have addictions, that succumb to their addictions, okay? That try to stab someone in the back, that don't care. These five of swords, these people don't care. They don't have empathy. They don't have feelings. They don't have consideration. They don't have any remorse. They don't have, um, They just want to cause conflict. They want to fight someone. That is what they did to someone here. And the worst part about it is that they actually turned around and went to the authorities and tried to make someone else look like this. See, the thing is like, of course they're going to know what to say. Of course they're going to know what kind of fake messages to create because they are reacting the way, or they are projecting onto you the way that they would react. They are writing in those messages or in those fake messages or in their fake st statements, testimonies, everything down the way that they would do it. The way that they would do it, the way that they would act or react is how they are acting towards someone else. You're not like that though. You're not like that. You're not gonna go out and fight people. You're not gonna go out and start fights. You're not gonna try and stab someone in the back. You're someone that just lets it go. You let it go, okay? Um, You grieve, you heal, you deal with what you went through, you process your emotions, um, you try to look forward. This is just projection. It's just, it's all projection. It's, they are accusing someone of the way that they are, of what they do. They came after someone for no reason at all. Someone here didn't deserve to have this amount of um, fighting and hate and backstabbing behavior come up against them. They didn't do anything. All you did was walk away from all of these people. You walked away from them. You walked away from them. You left them where they are. You realized that they're toxic. You blocked them. You closed the doors on them. You walked away to be alone, to be alone and you're not gonna go and fight people, okay? Because I'm pretty sure you're someone, you don't wanna harbor that resentment in your heart. You don't wanna walk around all day long with hate, anger, resentment, and wrath because the only person that you are um, getting at with that in your heart is yourself. You're only harming yourself, okay? It's only, some, it's, you're, the negative emotions that people carry around, it's only affecting them. And that's something that you already know. 
you've learned that lesson that if you hold on to anger and resentment and bitterness and uh, hatred and um, you know revenge you know it's only hurting you at the end of the day you're not affecting anyone else with that and you don't want to hold on to that you want to let it go you just let it go let it go it's so much easy it's so much a, more of a peaceful life to let it go you're somebody that wants peace you want harmony you've been through enough strife and heartbreak and um, pain in your life enough trauma in your life all you want is harmony and peace And when you go through something traumatic, okay, you're not going to seek revenge. You're not going to try and fight them. You're just going to give it to God and you're going to walk away. Okay? And anything that these people have projected onto you and lied on about you and tried to make you look this way or that way, that is them. They are the ones that, like I said, are causing conflict, are trying to stab someone in the back that isn't even looking at them. Someone, they're trying to stab someone in the back, cause conflict for someone that has walked away from them and has blocked them everywhere. So somebody is walking away, just like this person, walking away as they are trying to stab someone in the back, okay? Because they are so fucking toxic and low vibrational and uh, distorted and like possessed by something, I swear to God, okay? They're possessed. So what did they say about this Knight of Wands energy here? I mean, everything that they said about you is how they react. If they got their heart broken by someone, they would go after somebody else and try to get revenge. If they got left by someone, they would try and stab someone in the back and kill someone and try to bury someone, okay, with legal issues. If they got uh, rejected, they would, um, you know, slander them and make them feel really nasty and bad. It's like everything they said about someone is how they are. Is everything they said about how someone reacts is how they react, is how they would react in those situations. That's why they are able to um, come up with all of this bullshit is because they are only thinking about how would I react? If, if I went through this, how would I react? Oh, I would do this, this, and this, and this, and this. That's because that's how they are. That's how these people are. That's why, they're, that's why they say these things about you. So what is this Knight of Wands? Cassette, yeah, look at this. Cassette, outdated thinking. Conditioning, replaying events over in your head. They have outdated thinking. Their brain is like in a loop, okay? They're stuck. These people are stuck in old mental cycles, old mental patterns. They're never going to change. They have one way of being, one way of thinking, and that's where they are, okay? They're never going to be able to break out of that. It's like, it's a broken record, okay? Not today. And you don't want to deal with these people anymore. You don't deal with them. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. You have absolutely nothing to do with these people. You don't talk to them. You avoid them. That is how you deal with them is by not dealing with them at all. Okay? You have boundaries with, with people. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past. Make memories. Yeah, you have learned your lessons from the past. Maybe you were like that 10 years ago where you would react to people and you would um, maybe, you know, I want to, you know, bicker with them and argue with them. You learned those lessons, though. There's no point. You have learned the lesson that there is absolutely no point in arguing or getting in fights with people that are a broken record. It's like talking to a fucking wall. You've learned the lesson that uh, there's no point in arguing with people that are not able to understand the words that are coming out of your mouth, okay? So, you know, instead of just going down to their level and fighting about it, you're just gonna leave them where they are to fight with themselves, okay? Because all you're doing is wasting your own energy at that point. You're only, um, you know, getting yourself heated, and the person that you're fighting with is not going to listen to you or take anything you say into consideration because they are, they only think about themselves. They only see their own point of view. They have outdated thinking. They are, there's no point. So you have learned from the past to just avoid people. That's the lesson you learned from the past. You know what? I'm not going to fight with, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to go down to your level. Okay. I'm just going to avoid you. 
I'm not gonna pick up the phone anymore. I don't wanna deal with you and I have boundaries now, okay? That's what you learned. <sighs> yeah, stability, security, permanence, growth. Looking at your photos. What? Palm tree and photographs? It has something to do with money from photos. Mm -hmm. Money from photos. What do you mean money from photographs, huh? Whatever this is, it's a shocking Oh, no, it's the scapegoat, right? They wanted to make you the scapegoat. They wanted to make you the fall guy for something that they were doing to you, okay? Making money off of photos. On the internet, World Wide Web. The Empress, this is the business that they were doing. So there's a Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, and a mature man here, okay? This person, this nasty career criminal here, they were making money on the internet with pictures. That's how they made money, by doing something with pictures on the World Wide Web. This was a business that they had. Confirmation on my computer, did you hear that? This mature man, this is a, this is a disgusting, perverted, sexually distorted, nasty, demonic handler, okay? This person is disgusting. This person has a business of selling pictures on the internet, okay? And they wanted to make you the fall guy. They wanted to make you the scapegoat for this, okay? They wanted to betray you to the point of no return. They wanted to betray someone here to the point of no return. There was no coming back from this. That's how bad they wanted to betray you. Tell me more about this mature man, this disgusting, perverted, sexually distorted criminal here in their business. <clears throat> That's the truth? Am I speaking the truth here? About someone's business. So they were trying to create a business in someone's name here, okay? They created a business and um, they created a business in someone's name. They were making money off of someone else, okay? This disgusting, sexually distorted, demonic, perverted, gross, mature man was, okay? This person is absolutely vile and disgusting. This person was making a business off of selling pictures online of someone here, okay? Now, they wanted to make you the, uh, the scapegoat. They were doing this with a queen of wands together. All of them working together here. And with a Virgo or the hermit or the, they're being investigated now, okay? So a queen of pentacles, a queen of wands, and a, uh, and a disgusting, vile, mature man were making money off of selling pictures of someone on the internet, okay? Ace of coins in reverse, why are you showing me that? Yeah, and then they tried to cover it up and make you the fall guy for this and the scapegoat by completely assassinating your character, defaming you, um, and making you, making it seem like it's you. Okay, so after sex trafficking someone here online and selling their pictures without their knowledge, um, they tried to cover this up by completely assassinating your character, defaming your character, claiming that this is you. They wanted to humiliate you. They wanted to degrade you as a woman, as a person, as a man, whoever you are, okay? They wanted to completely uh, humiliate someone here, degrade someone, 
make someone seem like they're worth nothing, okay? Um, they wanted to ruin your reputation. That's this down here. Someone, this m mature man here wanted to put a complete end to your career. They wanted to put an end to your career. Why? Because in the past, you walked away from this person. You walked away from this, this mature man in the past. You walked away from them. Okay? Maybe after realizing that they're fucking sick. Okay? And then they decided to destroy your career and destroy you. And then they hired a bunch of little minions to help them do it. Okay? And then when push came to shove and they couldn't lure you in a trap and set you up and, you know, OD you on drugs, but they came up with this whole grand... Um, this grand finale of then, you know what, well, if we can't kill her and OD her after trafficking her or him, okay, them, we'll just put them in prison for our crimes after defaming someone here, okay? Yeah. This is what they wanted to do to someone. This is what this mature man wanted to do to you. They wanted you heartbroken and betrayed and traumatized and left for dead. Nobody cares about you. After breaking, you know, after, I don't know what this is, if this is your death or if this is just how they wanted to hurt you and traumatize you. And because this person is vengeful, they are um, full of anger and wrath and they're very distorted, okay? Very perverted, distorted individual here. This is a sadist. This king, uh, this um, mature man, the ringleader of all of this, this person is an absolute sadist. They love seeing people suffer. They love hurting people and getting away with it, okay? This is a career criminal. And after you walked away from this person in the past, okay, you might be, you might have, um, like, because you have wealthy man here. So if this is somebody that has a business, a shady business, you even have the king of pentacles here. This could have something to do with this, the job of this king of um, the mature man, okay? The way that this person makes money. Maybe you know that this person is um, like a career criminal, okay? You could have been a whistleblower. Maybe you blew the whistle on this person's shady business dealings. And after you blew the whistle and um, walked away from them, that's when they decided to ruin your life and ruin your career and have everybody help them do this, right? Because that's what I feel, that's what this is, right? So you might be a whistleblower. You might have found out that this wealthy man, King of Pentacles here, this uh, mature man um, is a shady career criminal who's distorted and perverted. And then you blew the whistle on them and then they decided to ruin your life, okay? First, they wanted to kill you. They came up with a whole idea of how to kill you. And then when that didn't work, they came up with a whole idea of how to just put you in jail after that, right? Yeah, they wanted you in complete poverty forever. They wanted you abandoned and in poverty and in lack. They wanted you physically left out in the cold, abandoned. They wanted you financially abandoned and left out in the cold. They wanted you emotionally abandoned and left out of the cold. This mature man wanted you to be alone and nobody cares about you and no one loves you because you. this person is a sadist. And maybe because, like I said, you might have blown the whistle on them and their shady career and this was revenge. So they planned something with a Knight of Cups. <clears throat> so they planned something with a Knight of Cups and the Four of Swords. So they planned that someone would come towards you. Um, I'm assuming here with a Knight of Wands. This is okay. Because I was just asking about this Knight of Wands, this uh, one night stand energy here. Okay. So after this perverted um, handler, career criminal, mature man, um, after you walked away from them in the past and blew the whistle on them, they came up with a whole idea of how to have you then uh, graped and trafficked, okay? Am I getting this right? Yeah, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So they came up with a whole, um, this whole 
storyline of someone giving and receiving affection and falling in love. Yeah, this was their hand of cards. Can't even make it up. Not mask, wearing a mask. Take a chance, risk, being strategic. Yeah, they thought that they were being so strategic when they did this. They were um, hiding, personifying, pretending to be someone else. So they could have tried to catfish you, okay? They were. They thought that they were being really strategic by being a catfish, okay? They were gonna catfish you and have someone come towards you here. Coffee cup. Or they had, um, you know, people around you that were pretending to be your friend, trying to meet up and converse with you. So they wanted, they were trying to get close to you. This mature man was probably paying people um, to get close to you, to meet up with you, converse with you, either as catfish or as fake friends. They might have even been paying people around you, like your friends, your family, things like that. Everybody was in on this, okay? They were trying to get close enough to you to put something maybe even in your coffee, okay? This was their hand of cards here. That they were going to try and put something, what, in your coffee or in your drink or in your food so that you could get, get knocked out and roofied. And then when you're knocked out and roofied, they would, what, have someone come give and receive affection with you? Needs time, takes time, in time cycles. They did this for a long time. They could have tried this multiple times. You could have been dealing with this for months to years, okay? Of somebody here trying to um, put something in your drink, put something in your food, roofie you or get you knocked out in some sort of way so that someone can come and, um, you know, do something with you while you're immobile, okay? The four of swords is someone laying in bed. Maybe they wanted you not being able to move, not being able to respond, not being able to defend yourself, right? after putting something in your drink or in your in your food, right? And they did this for a long time. This mature man was paying people here, paying multiple people here to come after you for a long time. They did this many times, many times, okay? I can't even make it up, I can't. It, this card says enjoying each other on it. That was part of the big plan, was to have someone come over, put something in your drink so that they can enjoy each other, enjoy themselves with you, okay? Non-consensually, of course. Yeah. They didn't want you to have a, a new phase in your life. They didn't want you to be able to transcend an obstacle. So they were. that's why they were trying to set you up, right? So after um, <clears throat> creating a fake business in someone's name here, committing fraud in someone's name um, and being a uh, online pictures handler um, this person then didn't want you to be able to get out of the the framing and the scapegoating that they were trying to set you up with they didn't want you to be able to transcend an obstacle of how they were trying to set you up to take the fall for their crime what they were doing to make money okay this disgusting ass handler so then they planned on how to have someone come towards you to enjoy themselves with you okay while you're knocked out and roofied in a bed and cannot defend yourself, okay? Yeah, love call. Pretending that you are, what, making text messages on the phone of, oh, thinking of you, letting you know, and uh, having some sort of loving text messages back and forth of a surprise invitation or meeting. Hey, you wanna come over and have something? confirmation on my wall just now wow so that's what they did to someone here and then whenever they were done uh getting their evidence here of somebody allegedly sleeping with you even though you were set up drugged and trafficked right then they were going to get rid of you with um, substances and then just claim that you od'd okay that was the plan here and it was this mature man that was behind all of it yeah <clears throat> yeah. So I basically did all, an entire reading just off of this section right here, guys. I don't even know if I'm going to get to this. I'll try and keep it short. Um, now, tell me about this this um, 
Knight of Swords in reverse here. There's some sort of secrets coming out now where they can't cause a stalemate anymore because you're protecting yourself. You're too strong. Your protection is way too strong. Your defenses are up. Your boundaries are up. You're not letting anyone near you. You're not letting any of these people near you in your energy. You're not answering any emails. You're not taking any customers. You're de completely um, defensive, okay, to anybody trying to come near you um, and get into your boundaries at this time. So now they can't fulfill their plan because you're protecting yourself and you're defending yourself and your defenses are too strong, okay? You've systematically walked away from everybody that they were trying to strategically place in your life to harm you. You've walked away from everyone to be alone, okay? Which is so contradictory con uh, considering the fact that they've been slandering someone here, claiming that someone can't be alone and someone here... Um, needs to be around other people or someone so desperate and lonely and um, someone wants revenge and wants to fight others, really. Because it looks to me like someone is so strong because they are protecting themselves and defending themselves and not coming near anyone, not letting anyone near them at this time, okay? Especially no fucking Knight of Cups, okay? Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Who is this? Some sort of luck, the King of Wands. Yeah, trying to get someone trapped. This King of Wands could be this mature man. He always comes out as the ringleader, okay? The ringleader here. This perverted, sexually distorted handler sadist here, okay? So this person tried to lie about you. They tried to slander you because they were trying to get you trapped and imprisoned, right? Tell me more about this Knight of Cups here. Yeah, it's, a, again, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. They, they made up some sort of slander and lies about you giving and receiving affection with someone, okay? Falling in love with someone here. Being charmed or used. Disgusting. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups, please. Yeah, they, I can't even make it up. They lied, yo. They lied. It was a lie. Everything they said about some giving and receiving affection and some made-up messages, it was a lie. They lied about this. Tower and the hanged man. This is the moment of enlightenment here. This is a shocking moment here. This is changing someone's perspective on everything for some reason. Someone here is having a moment of enlightenment. Someone here is realizing something and it's changing the way that they see something. Maybe they're realizing that someone was made a scapegoat here to a disgusting king of wands, vile, malicious king of wands here, sadist, who was a, a sexually perverted um, sex trafficker and a handler here, and who was trying to get away with their crimes using a queen of pentacles. Working together with the Queen of Pentacles to do it. Yeah, causing confusion. Using a Queen of Pentacles to cause confusion about someone. This little Queen of Pentacles lied. Now, they might even know each other, okay? These two might even know each other personally. The Sadist and the Queen of Pentacles, they might know each other personally, okay? Like, they might, who knows? If this is a wealthy businessman or maybe it has something to do with this person's job. Maybe there's some sort of connection between these two. Maybe they work together, or maybe they have some sort of a work connection, some sort of way like that, okay? They definitely know each other. That's why they decided to lie. And that's how they lied. That is how they did this, Seven of Swords. That is how they were working together and lying. They definitely did this together. They worked together to do this here. Fool to take this leap of faith together. Or that's how, oh, maybe, you know what else I'm getting? Maybe that's how they communicated in secret. 
Maybe that's how the King of Wands was telling the Queen of Pentacles what to do because they have some sort of a work connection, okay? Or maybe this Queen of Pentacles knows like where this King of Wands has their office or something like that. So if there is a, um, if this Queen of Pentacles knows where to go or wh what this person's business is or their workplace is, and they, um, maybe they, you know, run, run over each other's paths every now and then, maybe that's how they were trying to, um, that's how they were um, able to set someone up here in secret, okay? That's how they were trying to, get away with it and that's how they could do something very conniving and deceptive and um, behind the scenes is because they might know each other personally or have some sort of a personal connection to each other okay yeah i can't even make it up yo three of pentacles that's how they were working together and look these three people are in a room together a room together so like i said the entire time this king of wands might have a room okay or an office where these people know each other or there's somebody this queen of Pent queen of pentacles like let's just take an example okay let's just say this person because that's come out in another a couple readings let's say this person is like an accountant or something like that right like a tax advisor or something like that now this person has a tax advisor office okay so this queen of pentacles just happens to also be at this tax advisor's office because of her business or something like that, right? So this queen of pentacles pretends like she's going somewhere for taxes. Meanwhile, she's actually meeting up with the king of wands to plot someone's murder, okay? That could be, like, that's just an example, but that's kind of what I'm getting here. Oh, and that's how they were also meeting up with this queen of cups, right? So that's how the queen of cups was also, yeah, they're all coming to the office, man, four of wands. So everybody was coming to the office. That's how they did it. That's how that's how they did it. So the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, everybody was going to this office, right? This King of Wands is his office, right? Strength. That's how they went. To, that's how they did it. They met up in secret to discuss all these plans here. Two of Pentacles, King of Wands. That's how they were able to um, keep something balanced here or keep something maybe from... Even if this person is like worried about like text messages and like phone taps and uh, getting caught, this is maybe how they did it, okay? By meeting up in a certain office with each other. Something like that is going on here. Yeah, this is how they did it, false person. This is how they uh, masqueraded whatever they were doing. They probably were hiding it behind some sort of like appointments. Like, oh yeah, I'm just, I just have an appointment with the King of Wands at their tax advisor office or something like that, right? Meanwhile, they're like plotting someone's murder the whole time. Official person. <laughs> mm-hmm, interesting, okay. Uh... Wait a minute. Are you saying that this also has something to do with the money? This has something to do with the money. The sun. The way that they were meeting up in some sort of an office or some sort of business. Did you just hear that? That was my window. This has something to do with the money. Yo, the moon, the secret business. Yo, the secret business. The moon and the empress. This has something to do with the business. The secret business. A hidden business? Someone's business and secrets. Secrets surrounding a business or how they were able to keep something hidden about a business. This is how they thought that they were going to be getting victory and success by keeping something hidden about a business or someone's business. And this has something to do with the money. The money that the King of Wands was giving to this group, Three of Cups. He was giving the money to the, this group here. And some sort of, and that's how they were communicating. Three, that's how they were communicating, King of Swords, uh, Knight of Swords. Communication was going, was uh, at this office or something like that. It was going through an office. Work, Eight of Pentacles and the Devil. 
some sort of some sort of binding documents some sort of contract binding documents some sort of what's the devil what's this what's the devil here the eight of swords binding something was binding this is how they did something binding some sort of a binding document having to do with a large amount of money knight of pentacles in reverse so they so something happened at this office or the the work of the king of wands where this queen of pentacles and the queen of cups met up with this king of wands in their office space and this has something to do with a large amount of money and some sort of binding documents or binding uh contracts yeah and it has something to do with the betrayal ten of swords the betrayal and how they thought that they were going to win they thought that they were going to win this by betraying someone here or causing or this is where they planned this betrayal this is where they might have planned the betrayal is in the office this is where they might have planned the murder in this office because this is where they thought that nobody would know and nobody would find it suspicious because these people weren't supposed to be connected to each other but it also has something to do with money the end they planned the knight of wands and they planned a one night stand this is where they planned everything in the office of this person's work yeah page of swords something about communication this is where they planned it three of wands this is where they planned everything this is where they planned everything or this is where they received um like the communication with the queen of wands or this is where they it's like this is how the king of wands was able to stay maybe um like behind the scenes or something like that judication and high honor this is also where they planned um how to put someone under judgment with the authorities or with a, with a judge or this i feel like this is where the the this queen of pentacles was getting like the commandos okay like they were going there and saying okay king of wands this is the update now what do i do next and the king of wands was like okay this is what you're going to do next this is what you're going to do next this is where they were getting like the um like the commands to do something in court so it came down this is yeah it was this person that thought of this so you're telling me that the king of wands thought about what to do in court or, and they told and this king of wands told them what to say told the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups and the king of cups what to say in court and what to do strength and hermit in reverse Set, told them to say something about someone being depressed or someone being isolated or someone um, so that somebody wouldn't look into something. Eight of Pentacles, something about work. Something about someone's work. Strength comes out again. Something about a Leo. Something about a Leo or somebody's work. What somebody does for work. The star. Aquarius. And the queen of cups and the five of wands. Something about someone's work and a queen of cups causing conflict or or this is where they got the um like the command to try and um, open up like a court a court battle or something like that like a court um it's kind of giving me that they were told what to say and what to do okay and it was happening in some sort of an office space. And, and uh, they were all involved in this here. So what else do we need to know about this here? 
before I close out the reading. What else do I need to know about this? About this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and um, this King of Wands all meeting up together here to plan this. What else do I need to know about this? What else do I need to know about this? What else are you trying to tell me about this here? Someone was working very, very hard to figure out what to do or what to, where to go. Queen of Pentacles. This is about the connection with the Queen of Pentacles. And that, um, and some sort of news. It has something to do with some sort of financial news or some sort of an investment that this person made. But I feel like they were told to do this. Like they were commanded to do this with the Page of Pentacles and the Fool. It's like somebody told this Queen of Pentacles what to do. Look at that look at do you see how those it's a house of cards look at this oh my god whoa okay so it's the empress in reverse and death no this is where they gave the queen of pentacles the um the command to um put an end to someone So it has something to do with the, the, with the work of the King of Wands, what they do for work. This is where they, what, gave this person the money? This is where they gave the person the money? Ace of Swords, yes, this is where they gave them the money. This is where they gave the Queen of Pentacles the money to um, kill someone. So you're telling me they got it in cash. They could have gotten it in cash here. Page of Pentacles, it's like holding a coin. So this Queen of Pentacles might have received it in cash. The chariot. Wait a minute, you're telling me, did they buy a car? And they bought a car with it, a magician. And then they um, took the cash and they invested it into something else and they flipped the money around. So you're telling me they invested the money into something else so that you wouldn't be able to trace it back. Eight of Cups. What did they put the money into? Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. They put it into... They gave them, no, they gave the Queen of Pentacles the money for the hit. And then they told the Queen of Pentacles to put it the money somewhere. And you have two of Pentacles here. So what, they put told them to put it into an, an account of the Queen of Swords. This is the bank fraud. The star in reverse. They told, the, so the King of Wands told the Queen of Pentacles to put the money in an account. Five of Swords to win at all costs and to cause some sort of mental confusion about a Page of Cups, about messages or a younger energy, about a large amount of money having to do with family, having to do with family, family, something with family, having to do with family. So this Queen of Pentacles then put the money in an account having to do with family? How did they do that? With a Knight of Cups. Again, with a Knight of Cups. With a Knight of Wands. They claim, they put the money, they were supposed to put the money into an account Something with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands uh, having to do with someone having an, a love affair or having some sort of a 
that this is where the money came from, Six of Pentacles. They put the money in an account saying that who the person that gave them the money was a Knight of Cups that was having an affair with them. Or they were supposed to make it look like the money was going onto some sort of bank fraud account to make it look like you were getting paid to have one night stands. A slow investment, a long-term slow, slow investment, like a slow drip, like a slow drip. So this queen of pentacles was slowly putting, filtering the money into a, a fraudulent account and claiming the money was like money for um, something about a breakup and a separation. Over time, they did this over time, over time. They did it periodically over time. So they didn't empty the whole amount of the bribe into the bank account uh, all at once. They did it over time. What's the Six of Pentacles? To make it look like the money, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening heart, getting together, getting together, welcoming love, getting together. What's the Knight of Wands? Date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. And they tried to make it look like the money that was being slowly dripped into an account was from you getting money for dates. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life. Soulmates, something about a soulmate connection, talking. And this has something to do with some sort of text messages, calls and emails that they turned in about a partnership or an agreement or a contract. So they turned in text messages claiming that you have a partner or there's an agreement or there's a contract and there's text calls, emails about you going on dates and meeting someone new and you were getting money to get together with people. Cassette, the relationship evolving to the next phase. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment. And they claim that you told, Oh, now I get it. And they claim that you told them all of this because you're friends. When you're not friends. You're not friends with them. But they told someone that you're friends with them and that you told them all of this and you gave them all of this information even though it was them the whole time doing it. It was them the whole time doing it under the command of the King of Wands who was paying them to do this. And they were doing it the whole time. And then they claimed that they got all of this information because you told them about it because you're because of time with friends, girl talk. Time with friends, girl talk. That's how they did it. They, yes, separation in the reverse. They claimed that you guys are friends and there was no separation. You could have no contact with this person for years, okay? You haven't talked to this person in years or months, a long ass time anyways. And they're claiming that you're still friends with them or you're friends, but you're not, not today. You're not, not dealing. You don't deal with this person. You have avoided this person. You avoid them at all costs. You don't want to talk to them. You ignore them. They try to reach out. You fucking ignore them. You don't even want to deal with them. Okay. Boundaries. You have boundaries with them. Not today. Like, fuck off. I don't want to talk to you. And they told people that you're friends when you're not and that they have all of this information about this bank account or this money because of th them being friends with you, but they're not abundance at the bottom, that they know about this money because of being friends with you, but you're not friends with this person. They know about this because they were being paid by the King of Wands to do this, exactly this, okay? That's what's going on here. Anything else I need to know here? Seven of Cups comes out to cause confusion and about messages here. 
bad news, and to lie about messages, high priestess. To cause confusion. Now they're all stressed out and worried. They're freaking out now. They're freaking out because they lied about messages. They're causing confusion and they probably created fake messages to back up this lie. And something in the past, something that they did in the past uh, with a queen of swords, how they try to burden you. How they try to burden you. How they've been trying to burden you with lies and everything that they have been doing. They have been doing all of this and they're projecting it onto someone else here so that they can get away with what they did. Yeah, they don't because they so that they can get away with what they did. That's what I just said. Tower in reverse because they don't want to be implicated in this. They're trying to get away with what they did. They don't want the tower to come down on their head for trying to lace shit into your fucking drink, man. That's what they did, man. Yeah, and they really thought that whatever they were doing here was going to get them some sort of victory and success. They really were sure that they were going to win, win this. Something to do with messages and your job. Something about saying something about your finances, your job, your stability, and some sort of messages about you someone love in, in love or some some nasty shit like that and a king of swords something about a king of swords too who is this king of swords <clears throat> a betrayal king of wands that's how they wrapped up this entire betrayal here what they what they said everything they're trying to create an entire scenario around a betrayal that you went through okay but this is just another piece of it, okay? All right, um, I might have to do an actual crime hour on this one here. Anything else we need to know? Because someone here is a thief. And they're lying and they're criminals. Yeah, and this is not a family room. There's no family here. There's no family here. You don't wanna have anything to do with this family. They, but, and they claim that you're in bad health. They claim that you are addicted to drugs, you're depressed, you're anxious, you're, you know, down and out, uh, there's something wrong with you, Men bad mental health, all strung out all the time. That's what they said about you. And they claim that someone is your friend. This Queen of Pentacles claims she's your friend and she knows, she doesn't know shit because this bitch is not your friend, okay? Yeah, because they were trying to block your path. That's what this was about at the end of the day. Someone trying to block your path because they're criminals. Yeah, now they don't know what to think anymore. Because they, they because they don't think. They don't think. Because they're the ones that are on drugs 24-7 and drunk 24-7. They're the ones that can't think straight. And then they try to turn around and say, it's you. They are the ones that are in bad mental health, man. These people have issues. They have really fucked up issues, okay? Because they, and all they care about is sudden wealth. This is all they want. This is all they care about is money. That's all they care about is money. That's what all of this was about. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I hope I could give you some more information, some clarity, okay, confirmations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.